Hi folks and welcome back. Today we focus on chord changes. This episode is about the Sinfonion's built-in chord progression sequencer. Even if most of the time electronic music sticks to one root note in scale, this needn't be true for your music and is definitely not true for the vast part of music in general. Most times chords change from time to time. Guitar and piano players of pop, rock and jazz are used to lead sheets like this one. The Sinfonion has a built-in chord progression sequencer that pretty much allows you to program such a lead sheet. But it also gives you the flexibility for switching chords manually or by CV and it does not limit you to any specific musical approach. It's also perfect for finding new and interesting chord progressions simply by trial and error without any theoretical knowledge of harmonies or scales. Let's try this out. Let's try a chord progression of, let's say, one bar D minor, one bar B flat major and one, oh, let's say, two bars of A minor. Let's do this at the Sinfonion. First, we activate the sequencer by pressing SEQ. In the sequencer mode, the preset knob turns into a song selection knob. We turn it totally left in order to select song 1. The display now shows 1A because we start in song part A. I'll explain later what song parts are. In my Sinfonion, there is already a chord progression song 1. I delete this by pressing Del a couple of times until there's just one bar of C major Lydian. This is the default song. You cannot have an empty song. Now I change root degree in mode of this first bar to D minor. For the next bar I need to add a step. This is done by pressing add. This creates an exact copy of the current step and moves you one step forward. In the display you can see that we now have two steps denoted by two little boxes. The filled box is the step that we currently added. Let's change the second step into B major and add a third step of A minor right away. Now let's try this out. I've prepared a couple of voices that are controlled by the Sinfonium. The whole thing grooves in A minor. It's just because it was the last step we were just editing. With the arrow keys, I can move forward and backward at the sequence. Okay, so we have a chord progression. We can switch chords manually, but now we want to clock this automatically. First we need an external clock signal patched into CLK. If we now start the sequencer by pressing the play pause button, the music will move forward automatically. Who sounds funny. Chords change way too fast, don't they? Oh, what's going on here? In the display you can see that every clock pulse advances the sequencer by one beat. By default, every step consists of four beats. The beats are shown as small circles. There are two ways to make this slower without changing the external clock. Either we increase the number of beats in each step or, much more convenient, we make use of the built-in clock divider. In the menu, there's a setting called clock divider. If we set this to eight, then each 8 clock ticks advance the sequencer by one beat. Now the chords progress much slower. Um, please know that the um, clock divider setting is really per song part, even if it's in the global menu. And we still have another issue, we wanted the last chord to be two bars, don't we? In order to fix this, I stop the sequencer, move to the last bar and increase the number of beats of this bar to eight. I 
promised you to explain you the song parts. Um, this is how everything works in detail. The smallest element is called a step. A step consists of a root note and a scale. It also keeps memory of the setting of all the 52 buttons of the playing area, so these can be sequenced as well. And of course, it has a length measured in beats. You can arrange up to 32 of such steps into a sequence. Such a sequence is called a song part. And each song is made up of four parts, A, B, C and D. The Sinfonion has 16 songs. This makes up for 16 times 4 song parts, which is 64, and thus 64 times 32 song steps, which is 2048 steps in total. You select the song with the preset knob. But how can you switch song parts? This is done with the song page, which can be opened with the song button. At the first four rows of eight buttons, you have direct access to the up to 32 steps of the current song. With these four buttons, you switch to part A, B, C and D. And the button Arpeggio Begin changes the live mode, which I'll explain later. Most times you will want to switch to a new song part exactly at the end of the current part. The Sinfonian helps you here. If you press the button once, it will flash and the current part is being played to end before the switch to the new part happens. Pressing the button twice immediately switches the part. When I stop the sequencer for a while, we can select different node selections for the various channels in each of the three steps. Sometimes you might prefer to improvise rather than program. Then you can switch the buttons to live mode. This is done on the song page with the button Arpeggio Begin. Now the buttons are independent of the sequencer. You might have guessed it, the Sinfonion offers lots of functions for the Wii in and out for the sequencer. I don't want to bore you with too many details because everything is explained in the manual. Here is just an overview. The most important function is probably song reset or song part reset for in one or two. I use this always for starting the chord sequence at the beginning when I switch on my master clock. Mario Schönhofer from Die Ströme really had a great idea for a feature that helps programming calls in a live situation. This is called the freeze mode. The freeze mode is activated by double clicking the play button. It starts flashing. During freeze mode, you can change root degree and mode and also switch to other songs and song parts and even program new song parts while the Sinfonion sticks to the current root and scale. So you can prepare a new chord sequence while the music goes on. Press play again and you are back to normal. The scale shown on the display is immediately being activated. I hope you had fun with this video. Please subscribe and don't forget to make great music.